Hello everyone, this is Blue Zone Cons. We are now back to part two of Crash Bandicoot for the Insane Trilogy. So, go on with your story, Terrence. Uh, wait, what, what were we talking about? Tana's boobs? I have no fucking clue. <laughs> uh, no, it was, it was like with Activision, but I, I feel like we can... Honestly, we should have saved that for when we were doing CTR, but... Uh, it, it's, it's just a shame, because... This is really a nice thing that's going on. Crash is back. Spyro came back. But unfortunately, Activision is a shitty company. Because Activision. Because fuck them. Yeah, fuck Activision. S still better than you. That's not hard. That's really not saying much, though. And Bethesda. Um, I mean, I don't really know Bethesda that much. I don't play any of their games whatsoever. <laughs> well, everybody has said there's a meme that every Bethesda game is a glitchy, buggy mess, and they're only like good. Be yeah, and they're only good because mods. Well, uh, Doom isn't uh, glitchy. Yeah, yeah, Doom was like the one exception. I think Wolf the Wolfenstein games, except for the new one that just came out, because apparently, like, that's not really good. Okay, that's the one I was hearing about. Young Blood. Yeah, I believe so. Oh, is this the level with the little? Look, the point, the moral of the story is the AAA Western industry is a mess. What? You don't? I mean, so is. Japan, but Japan has gotten better. Yeah. Also, I just want to clarify: when I do the bonus levels, it's I only do them mostly to get extra lives because God knows I'm gonna need them for later levels. Apparently, it's easier to get extra lives in this version than it is the original. What? Apparently, they give you more extra lives in this version than the original. Uh, and you, you have more chances to do these. Like, if you screw up, you can just go back again. Unlike in the original games, where it's just one and done. So, has anybody seen yeah. Darkside Phil play this? Fuck this. <laughs> oh, Marcos. I'm sorry. Come talk to me when you actually play and beat the fucking game. I'm at the road to. No, I did no, beat man. this game. Okay. Ooh. Yeah, because did you say this game was too hard for your first time playing it? No, I, it's too hard 100% of the game, and that's what I'm trying to do. <laughs> yeah, I mean, this is the only Crash game I have at 100%ed, because I 100%ed 2 and 3. I got all the fucking I, I'm trying to 100% the game and put beat at the same time. Don't do yeah, First of all, never do that for like most games ever. It's you did it for Lost game. World, didn't you? That's why I'm saying from experience, never do it. Okay. I only 100% a game I really like, or if there's like a extra thing. I 100% of the adventure mode of Crash Team Racing. As if for, as the only Crash Bandicoot game I've ever 100%. Oh, I heard you suffer. I was on Discord with you those nights, I heard that, you. Oh yeah, first boss. That, that game, that, that game. Bullshit. Dude. You Bullshit. died to Papu Papu? It's not my fault the hit attention sucks ass. No, you, you could have jumped. jumped. Yeah, you jumped. I did jump! Early. You saw no, that jump coming and I bounced off of him and landed on his stupid fucking staff. You jumped a little too early, my friend. Well, fuck this. Wumpa Islands. The Wumpas among us. We're making rhymes now, Wumpa. Are you not gonna play as Coco? Wumpa Pumpa. Also, I just want to show you can switch to Coco, but I'm not doing it, so but just to show that you can. She goes back into the ether. Yeah, I just I, like Crash's design. He's very friendly. I do like that they added, like, minor stuff like this where you can play as Coco, where she's got her own, like, little unique animations, even though she plays the same as Crash. But it's a That's nice fine. attention to detail like that, you know? I will say though, as much as I do love the Crash games, besides like the main theme, no song really sticks out to me. Yeah, the soundtrack is mostly forgettable. Well, it's yeah, it's more except Crash Fury. It's more at Crash One and Two are more atmospheric. But uh, so is DKC. You saw that. You saw that. That's, you can't grab the ledges. This that, isn't Metroid. Yeah, that, that, that's that's true, not it. I that. landed and it slid me back out. It's fucking ass. Well, this is Sonic Fuck Sonic's ass game. game. I don't care. <laughs> this is bullshit. 
See, that happened again. Slid off. Yeah, I. The the pill thing is kind of annoying. It's not a deal breaker, but it is annoying. Unless it you is. grew up with the games, then it's kind of like, ooh, something wrong here. <sighs> Has anyone ever played any of uh, any other Naughty Dog Parades after? Uh, well, I, yeah, I did play Jack and Daxter. Uh, me and but... my friend played Jack and Daxter and Jack X, and once Naughty Dog got all movies, that's when I stopped caring. Because I, uh... I like a, a couple. Great job. A couple weeks ago, I did buy the Jack and Daxter collection because uh, all four Jack games because it was on sale on PSN, and I also bought the Uncharted collection, so I want to try those out. I don't know. I've just been in a PlayStation mood lately. Eh, also like got that. Final Fantasy VII as well. Have you been Although playing I that? No, not not yet. Because that stupid CTR event ru ruined my productivity. Uh, that's self control, buddy. Uh, no, there's there's a reason for that because if I don't like do all this stuff in within the month, I the contact content is locked until a later date. Then that's bullshit. Yes, yes it is. You know, the more I hear about crashing racing, the more I just. Don't care or just lose it. It's a good game. game. I, That's the, the sad one, part. The one uh, tweet that made me literally fucking laugh my ass off was I think it was uh, the Mean Bean Machine guy who took a picture of CTR, the box art, and then in the next three images, it just slowly transforms back into Sonic Team Racing. Or Team Sonic Racing, whatever it's fucking called. It starts out as Crash Team Racing Nitro Fueled, and then slowly evolves into Team Sonic Racing. <laughs> Even though CCR is a technically better game than Team Sonic Racing. That actually sounds funny. I'm just, I don't know, I never got into kart. I'm just, that, that's not true, I played Mario Kart all the time, but... I don't know, as I got I'm older... I played a little bit of the original. As, as I got older, I progressively did not care about kart racing games. I don't know. This is fine. You know, like, CTR... I, I feel bad for Crush when he gets hit by those boxes, oh, Jesus man. Jesus Christ. Like, he yeah, takes he so much off. fucking punishment. He walked it off. I know, but still, it's just sad to see him like this. I mean, the guy can get his fucking feet blown off and still walk it off. Well, damn. Oh, this level. Fuck this that, level. You see that Fuck pig? Fuck this level. You see that pig? I'm gonna fuck it. <laughs> I, this song is funny. I'm eating, I'm eating pork chops tonight. I like this song, though, because it's funny. It, it, it reminds me of Jackass. The, the lighter know. games are much better at these writing sections. Oh, no, Bullshit! Bullshit! Fun no, I, I, if, I actually kind of hate. I kind of hate all the riding sections and crash. As you can see, I'm having a good time. Yeah. Because you have to be so precise with your jumps and movements, or else you're fucking screwed. Oh, fun fact: if you do get hit at the like at the last enemy at the end of the stage and you get you the still, jam. you still yeah. beat the stage i yeah. it, would you believe me i told you it happens to me in this level oh good by accident good. no less i didn't even know that was possible until i recorded this yeah game. clement said the same thing it's like what that's a good thing i know complacency <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> that's great but that's great and i got the diamond too on top of that yep i went to one yeah, that, wins a win. Yeah, I'm not. That, I'm not, that's, I'm not that's crying. Great. Right. Could you do that in the first game, or was that added for this? Wait, what? Could you do that in the original, or was that added for this? I, I think it was don't, something that was added in the remake because that's why that Kobe had to be intentionally Johnny, put in the remake. Johnny, were like, yeah, that it just happens. Hmm. 
Honestly, I don't really like Chorus one that much. Nah, it's, it's just one of those cases where you know the first game is pretty decent, you know, I act decent or whatever. But the sequels do a better job in terms of like gameplay and overall everything else. Yeah, video games are that like weird... Mario, Sonic, all that shit. Video games are that weird medium where the first game is usually the worst or is usually the weakest, especially depending with on what series we're talking about. Well, especially with platformers. However, um, unfortunately, in this day and age, I don't think you can get away with that. Because if you have a first game and a new series, and it's not... Like, you can see the potential, but it's not really that spectacular. I don't think anyone will really care about the sequel. No, because video games have become mainstream now. And uh, so, your first okay, go... Say, uh, Continue. Say, let's say, Ar Mar Ar Terrence, I know you don't like ARMS. Let's say they make an ARMS 2. And it's really good, like you. But because you are burnt out with the first game, you. I don't think you would give it a chance. Fuck those enemies with the shields, by the way. I mean, they're annoying. I, see, I, I, I don't know because I didn't like the gameplay of Arms. So. Yeah, let's say they, they. It, it, unfortunately, uh, fighting, fighting games are those ones where they get better as the sequel, like they really hit their stride, because look at Soul Calibur, look at Marvel vs. Capcom. Oh no, look Fighters at... did a pretty good job on its first go. Yeah, but Fighters was like the first, it's the only good Dragon Ball fighting game. I like Tenkaichi and Budokai. Again, They're Fighters different. is the only good Dragon Ball fighting game. I also like Xenoverse and Xenoverse 2. I guess. All right. Dragon yeah, well, let's not go too far. Fighters is the only good Dragon Ball game. Clearly, you haven't played the Budokan games, my friend. I you have. Gave me Budokai One. No, no, Tom, I'm talking to Deji. You gave me Budokai One, remember? That's Budokai One, but you didn't play the best one, Budokai Three. Yeah, Budokai Three. Although, uh, I... at, at this point, I can't really go back to Budokai Three because Fighters is just so much better. Because the music. Oh, I mean, uh... I, I have Budokai Three on my on the PlayStation Two. Oh, nice. The superior version. Budokai 3's music is legendary. It's but stolen. damn, that plagiarism. Yeah, but I, I love the, the joke. Is that people are like, damn, I wish Yamaguchi didn't get caught. Not, I mean, oh wow, he's a bad I, person. I'm surprised he lasted that long without yeah. getting caught for all those yeah. years. I'm pretty sure Toei knew when they tried to back uh, him up. Unfortunately, it's could. a thing that happens in Japan where, like, a lot of mu video game music, especially especially the ones that we're familiar with, are stolen. Like well, Ken's theme from Street Fighter. It's the main theme from Top Gun. <laughs> I'm gonna have to look at that right after we do this. The, I, I'm gonna I have know to look Dr. At that Mario's right theme. Dr. Mario's theme. Oh, oh, uh, there's a song in Super Mario Galaxy 2, which is a which is a ripoff of Michael. It sounds so similar to Michael Jackson's "Want to Start Something." Really? What? Yes. What's that? A Japanese video game company basing their music off of Michael Jackson? I've never heard that before. And Dr. Mario is a song from the Beatles. What the main thing? I don't know. Yeah. I'm gonna have to look that up. Honestly, just by me looking at this gameplay footage of myself doing this, it's just... I just wanna play Donkey me, Kong Country now. It's giving me PTSD, that's what's up. We should get to, we should get to DCKC for Tropical Freeze. I need to get back to beating that game. I'm surprised you haven't. I'm just stuck in those water levels, man. It's not that hard, man. It's not that it's hard, it's just... I don't know how to describe it. it. Just it's just slow, and it just kind of made me forget about it and stop. Just, and it's just, just get Dixie Kong, and you'll you'll be fine. Dixie, Trixie Kong, however many Kongs are all the same. My God. Wow, that's racist. Come on, come on, Marcos. It's 2019. We had a black president. Uh, I would make a joke about you know who, but I'm not going to. Don't forget it. But they need to patch that. There's some things you just don't say when recording. Oh, he's dead. What? All I said is patching and notes and nerfs and updates. Oh, oh, oh Jesus Christ. That was... 
Oh come on! You out. can't sit there and tell me that that's never happened. Oh, it has. It's just, it's just that since we're watching it, we yeah, feel we can the laugh pain. at you. No, go for it. I could have edited it. I mean, for something that short, nah. Watching this makes me want to visit Australia, but then I remember it's Australia, so I don't want to die. Well, damn. Just, just play Mortal Kombat and play as Kano. There you go. <laughs> Even though his Dude. Australian accent is fake. I was I was fucking watching a uh, uh, an interview on either the Late Show or whatever with uh, Margot Robbie, and she's from Australia, and she was talking about how she would wake up in the morning and her mother would be screaming at her because there's a fucking snake in their house, just some random snake. Australia's scary. Huh. What a way to end on a. On a good note. All right, we'll see you on part three of Willy the Wombat. Goodbye. See ya. Yeah.